dinosaurs may be the reason we can't live to 200 years old. According to the details in Popular Science Turkish, microbiologist Joao Pedro de Magalhães, working at the University of Birmingham, hypothesis in his newly published article, according to Magalhães, when dinosaurs were the dominant species on Earth, much smaller mammals had to reproduce rapidly to survive. This means that longevity genes may have been discarded as evolution progressed. Some of the earliest mammals were forced to live lower down the food chain and probably spent the 100 million years of the dinosaur age breeding rapidly to survive, says Magal Hayes. I propose that this long period of evolutionary pressure affects the way we humans age. The published research states that our most ancient ancestors in the placental mammal lineage appear to have lost certain enzymes around the time of the dinosaurs. The enzymes in question are enzymes that repair the damage caused by ultraviolet UV light. Interestingly, marsupials and monotremes lack at least one of these three UV repair enzymes, known as photoliasi. However, it is difficult to say whether this situation has anything to do with the relatively shortened lifespan of the creatures in question. One possibility is that this loss occurred because mammals became more active at night to stay safer. Millions of years later, we compensate for this with sunscreen. Otherwise, we could have this kind of repair and restoration mechanism. There are also other signs. Take teeth. For example, certain reptiles, including alligators, continue to grow teeth throughout their lives. Nothing like this happens to humans. This may again be the result of genetic selection going back millions of years. We see some pretty remarkable examples of repair and regeneration in the animal kingdom, D. Magalhaes says. This genetic information may have been redundant in early mammals that were lucky not to become T. rex food. A number of mammals, including whales and humans, celebrate triple-digit birthdays. Whether we do this under constraints inherited from our shorter-lived ancestors, or whether we have somehow evolved to be unaffected by them, will be the subject of future research. A better understanding of the factors behind aging is always helpful in combating ailments, including age-related diseases such as dementia and stroke. The genetic facts behind the longevity bottleneck may help us learn more at this point, although it is just a hypothesis at the moment. This phenomenon can be considered from many interesting angles, says D. Magal Hayes. An example that can be given in this regard is that cancer is more common in mammals than other species due to the rapid aging process.